waking us up this morning, Lord. And giving us another day that was not promised unto us. Yahweh. Thank you for allowing us to fast and pray unto you, Lord Yahweh. Thank you for giving us the strength, Lord Yahweh. The things that we need every time we come into your house. And we ask that you do it again, Lord Yahweh, as we come into your house. And hear words commanded of you, Lord. Any of those that are receiving, wanting to receive an answer, Lord Yahweh, we ask that you answer them tonight, Lord Yahweh. Any of those that are praying, Lord Yahweh, we ask that you allow them to hear their prayers that they're praying for, Lord. Ask that you comfort all those that have a sorrowful heart, Lord. And all those that are sick and afflicted, we ask that you touch them and heal them, Lord Yahweh. We know that in faith that you know that you will do it in due time, Lord. Yes, Lord. But we just ask that you watch over all those that are over the dangerous highways. Be with the saints of Arlington and be with the saints of Mexico, Lord Yahweh. In the name of Yahshua, the Messiah, the church saved. Amen. I'd like to read a scripture out of Psalms 145. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Amen. We thank Yahweh for allowing us to be here tonight. Give a double honor to the bishops, Apostle Washington, Apostle Flores, Evangelist Childers, and the teachers that we have down here in Lubbock. Thanking Yahweh and give a double honor, honor also unto the, the bishops in Arlington as well. Thanking Yahweh for the word from Apostle Hurley and Evangelist Davis on Tuesday night. Truly right on time. Now, I know every time I come into this place, I know I'm going to get what I, I need. I need strength, I'm going to get it. If I need comfort, I'm going to get it. You know, if I'm not, my spirit's not where it needs to be, I know I'm going to get what I need when I come into Yahweh's house. And I thank Yahweh for a day that we can fast and pray and you know, we can do that every day, but I, I really thank Yahweh that he set aside some days that we can actually, as a body, do it to him. Amen. 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 To help strengthen ourselves, our soul, that our soul needs to be strengthened. And help, we need help to fight the devil. We can't overcome him by ourselves. Amen. Because the devil, he's, it's given to him to make war with us. And we need something that's greater, that's bigger than him. To be able to fight them like we're supposed to. Yes. See, Yahshua the Messiah showed us how we should fight the devil. Yes. Amen. With the scriptures. Yes. That's why we should lean on them. Yes. And that's why we come into Yahweh's yes. house to be taught yes. of his ways. Because yes. Yahweh's the only one who can overpower him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. We're nothing without Yahweh. Yes. We know that. Yes. I'm just a, a, a speck of grain in the ground. Yahweh is bigger and greater than every, everything upon this earth. He's created me and created you in his image. Amen. 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 So if you're seeking Yahweh, you came into the right spot. Yes, right. If you're seeking for comfort, you came into the right spot. Hallelujah. 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 So as we prepare for the word of Yahweh, make sure we open up our hearts, our mind towards Yahweh. Know that this is not man that is speaking unto you. It is Yahweh. These men are led of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, we have an apostle in our midst. Hallelujah, that has that same spirit as Apostle Paul. And we, as he follows Yahshua the Messiah, we also have to follow him. Hallelujah. But I thank Yahweh for all things, but I'm not going to prolong the time. Let us get ready and to stand and receive our beloved Apostle Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Everyone can be seated. Amen. Yeah, so we thank Yahweh to be here tonight. Yes. Trust everyone is encouraged and Amen. have a mind to want to run on and want to <clears throat> give Yahweh all honor and glory. Amen. That is due to him and he's worthy to be praised at all time. I want to thank Yahweh for our fellowship on last night. Amen. You know, I always look forward to coming together and, you know, it's always right. It's always a good thing to come together. <clears throat> as long as we're doing spiritual things, the Spirit is always pleased with us. And it's, and it's important that we keep our minds on the Lord. Hallelujah. But I want to thank Yahweh for this place of worship. I'm so grateful for 
the Lord saw fit to bless me to be part of this ministry that's going on, going on in this city. Yes, Lord. Because I'm not from Lubbock. I'm yes. actually from the Dallas Forward area. But mm -hmm. as Yeshua stated to those that came out to hear him, Amen. He, those that had chosen to follow him, he said, look, uh, <laughs> the bird of the air have nests and the foxes have holes, but the son of man have no place to lay his head. There's no telling where we may end up. Right. We who truly follow the Lord. Amen. And so the Bible uh, teaches us that we're all strangers and pilgrims passing, passing through. through. This world is not our home. No, Lord. I see Mother Connie here. She's not from Lubbock. No. Amen. She's from Sinton, Texas. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You, you always have to have a mind to follow the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. wherever the Spirit will lead us, that's where we want to find ourselves. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. And so I'm thankful when I give, I want to give double honor to the bishop to labor with me in this yes. way. And I thank you always for my wife yes. who labor with me also in this way. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for her. And I believe that the sister there will be flying out Tuesday, early Tuesday morning, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm, I'm happy for you that we will be making that trip. And trust that you go down and come back with a good report. And Hallelujah. At least you better come back with a good report. Because <laughs> I'm counting on you to let your light shine. And we, we, you know that they are babes in the Messiah. It's much that they are learning. They just knew in this way. And, yes, and so Lord. We, um, we all play a very important role. And so... I'm That's happy right. for you that you're able to make that trip without me. So I love to see people who can follow the Spirit, that can, will concentrate themselves and follow the Spirit. Yes, Lord. And not too long after that, I believe that um, Apostle Moses and Evangelist Children were making that trip. And yes, Lord. Also, and Lord's willing, I'll be going back sometime, maybe in March, the beginning of March. But I want to call your attention to the book of Isaiah. You know, Apostle Paul, when he wrote to the Romans, he, he wanted them to understand that, that all the scriptures was given, all the scriptures, uh, the thing that was written aforetime, he said, was written for while we're learning, Amen. and that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. Amen. We should be able to turn to the scriptures and open them up, read in a book and find strength. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because the same spirit that worked with them, it works with us as well. Yeah. God is eternal. Yes, he is. Always have been the spirit. And he's, 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 from, he's the beginning of all things. Amen. He also will be the end of all things. Yes, Lord. And so um, we can come in this church with our head up, knowing that we serve an almighty God. A God that the world do not know, claim to know, but do not know. That's Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. And so uh, the Most High spoke to Isaiah through Isaiah, and these are his words to his people. Isaiah 40. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. It is written. Uh huh. Isaiah 41. Yes, sir. Comfort ye. Comfort you. Com comfort you, my people. Amen. God wants us to be have comfort. Saith your God. God wants us to have comfort. Yes. As we. Journey on our journey, knowing that we have an enemy, a devil who seeks to root us up, who fight against us. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a world that has much to offer us mm -hmm. that our flesh desire to have. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yet you hear and you continue to deny yourself and you continue to fight against yourself. And the Spirit wants us to find comfort in that. Amen. Because long as you're suffering, the Bible says you have ceased, ceased from, sin. from sinning. Hallelujah. That's right. The, the, the body, we're all born in sin, each of us. Yes. Iniquity has shaped every one of us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And our flesh just love everything that's contrary to God. <laughs> yes. So sometime on this journey, Satan, he come play these games. Yes. Show you how you're missing out in, you know, in the world. Amen. He wants you to look at what you have or what you don't have. Right. But the greatest thing that we possess tonight is the truth. That's right. It's better than having to find this home. Yes. Amen. A, a real good, thick bank account. You know, these things that men put comfort in. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't Amen. you know you're better off just having faith and yes. being thankful for the food that God put up on the table? That's may not right. be what you want, but you have food on the table. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That there, there are others, amen, that is not as blessed as you. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. I know, you know, I've been to, to Africa, been to Mexico, and there are some very poor people. Hallelujah. Sometimes all they have is just a bowl of rice to eat, and that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Amen. At least you can look in your pantry. You can choose a few things. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Spirit wants us to find comfort. Comfort you. Yes, sir. Comfort you, my people. Yes. Saith your God. Said who? Your God. So it don't make no difference what you're going through. Find comfort. Amen. Amen. Find comfort in whatever you face with. Find comfort in it. Yes, Lord. Because if you don't find comfort, it's going to destroy you. Hallelujah. You find yourself mumbling and, and oh, yeah. complaining. Yes. And the Bible t- taught us plainly that we should not mumble. Mumble not, my beloved brother. Spirit said, mumble not, my beloved brother. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in all things, we should give thanks. thanks. For everything. Hallelujah. Come on, read. Speak you comfortably. Speak you comfortably. To Jerusalem. To who? To Jerusalem. To Jerusalem. And cry unto and her. to Jerusalem, speak comfort to Jerusalem. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the children of Israel had to do. Amen. Spirit Isaiah wanted Isaiah to speak comfortably to Jerusalem. Amen. Well, now we are not under the old covenant <laughs> any longer. We, we are not of the house of Moses any longer. That's right. Amen. We're of the house of Yeshua. Yes. Amen. Scripture Hallelujah. teaches us that his house is, is far more greater yes, Lord. than the house of Moses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, amen. Right now, don't y'all know we're we sitting in Jerusalem? Yes, Lord. Yeah, so, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the Spirit always have something to say. Yes. The Lord said, well, two or three are gathered. In my name. In my name. He said, I will be yes. there. In the midst. Hallelujah. Yes. And so, we can feel, amen, we don't have to be at a certain place to, 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 to experience God's presence. Yes, Lord. I mean, every time I get on my knees, I say, Lord. Be with to let your spirit dwell in this house yes, as long Lord. as your people are here. Amen. Amen. We don't need this place full. No. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. You, you, you look around, you see half of the church is not here tonight. Amen. You still ought to have some comfort. You here. Hallelujah. You, you made it to the house of God. And the, amen. Yahweh was here waiting on you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have some words to say to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, so he Lord. says, speak confidently to Jerusalem. And cry unto and her. cry unto her. That her warfare, that her warfare is accomplished. Is what? Is accomplished. So you're, you're fighting the devil. Amen. Yes. You're in the right place. Don't run off. That's right. Don't quit and give up. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Your blessings are right around the corner. Amen. Hmm? If you don't faint. That's right. Amen. Amen. Paul wrote to, wrote to the church and said, amen, not for, for them not to to, uh, to faint yes, when they go on through their trials and tribulations. That's right. They said, be not weary in well-doing. Well yes. Yes, they said, amen, you'll reap if you don't faint. Right. Hallelujah. You're you doing well. You may not see a change in your life, but you're doing well. You're doing the right thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you will reap yes. if you just don't faint. If you faint not. Come on, read Amen. Speak you comfortably Speak to, comfortably Jerusalem, to Jerusalem, and cry unto her. And cry unto her. That her warfare, her warfare is, accomplished, is accomplished. That her iniquity that her is pardoned. Iniquity pardon. has what? Is pardoned. So long as you clean yourself up, yes. I don't care what you've done. That's right. Spirit always plead, pleading. Yes. God says, "Not my will." That any man should perish. I think we should remember these words. Amen. Yahweh says, "Not my will that any man should perish." So that's why you can't let Satan talk to you about your condition. He get through talking to you about your condition. You feel like you're not worthy. You shouldn't be at church. You might as well just throw up your hands, just give in. Amen. Turn in your keys and just give up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. No, no, no. It's, it's not God's will for no, none of us to do that. But the fight. Yes. To press on. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, read. That her iniquity is that pardoned. That her iniquity is pardoned. For she had received she of had Yahweh's received hand of Yahweh double for all double her sins. For all of what? All her sins. So when we do wrong, of course, we pay for it. Yes. Right. Don't you know if you sow to your flesh, of your flesh, you, you will reap corruption. corruption. Just that simple. Yes, we have to understand that. Yes, hmm? Naturally so, when we did wrong, our parents whooped us, huh? Oh, yeah. And we had lied to everything to get out there whooping. Yes. Uh, amen? Try to bargain. That's right. Try to bargain. <laughs> no, you didn't. You lied. I didn't do it. 
You don't care. You blame it on your sibling. Oh, yeah. You'd rather see them get the beating yeah. instead of you. But in this, hallelujah. But in this way, the spirit, don't, they don't get nobody mixed up. No. <laughs> we can lie on one another all we want to. Yep. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's true. But understand that when the hallelujah, that if you go contrary, you must reap what you have sown. Yes. Hmm? Things not where it's supposed to be in your life. Well, you got to don't blame God. You got to start looking at yourself. What did you do? Right. Or what are you doing? Right. That if you feel like God is not with you, what did you do? Right. Yes, you got your hand up. That's the longest hallelujah I've ever seen. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Get the, get the mic. Here, Jake. Got one answer. I have to. Uh, I know that's Yahweh speaking because I was in the restroom saying that that I'm st I'm still reaping what I sow. Um, at my job, you know, I didn't get paid much mm -hmm. uh, from my check because of child support, but I was like, I should have never left my husband. I wouldn't that's be right. in this situation. Yeah. Um, but I thank Yahweh for the, the word that's coming forth out of uh, what we're being taught right now from the scripture because he does comfort me Amen. no matter what my situation is. And he, I know and I truly believe he'll bring me out of it. Amen. Amen. But how many, how many of you believe that? One thing about God, he's, his anger don't last forever. Right. He's not that kind of God. Hallelujah. You may stay mad at somebody forever, but he won't do it. Right. <laughs> like Hallelujah. Man. Amen. 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 But we will reap. Yeah. Whatever I go through, amen, I just have to wait on the Lord. I have to wait till the Lord bring me out. And I don't blame nobody. Nobody. Hallelujah. Amen. But you will reap what you have sown. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, there's a week, man. My wife heard a uh, song on the way to church that let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> yep. Let this be a lesson to you. Yes. Hmm? You didn't make the wrong you didn't make the wrong choice by being in church. The Lord. That's the best thing, that's the best choice you ever made in life. But we're going to go through some things, though. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch the way we read it. For she has received of she Yahweh's received hand, of Yahweh hand double, for all, double her for all her sins. The voice of him, the voice of him that crieth that in, the cries in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way Prepare of Yahweh. Ye, the, the way of Yahweh. Make straight. And don't you know that voice still crying right now? So that yes. was talking about John the Baptist. Well, that spirit that's in John is still with us today. It's still telling us, amen, what we should be doing. Right. Because he's coming back, right? Yes, he is. And, I, and our path has to be right. So the Spirit is always crying out. Yes. John lost his head for crying out. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. This, uh, amen. Our path has to be straight. We can't walk in a kind of way. Oh, y'all listening to me? That's right. Amen? Amen. Read. The voice of him that crieth in the, wilderness. in the wilderness. Prepare ye yes. the way of Yahweh. Yes. Make straight Make in the straight desert a highway desert. So for our right God. Right now, you may feel like your life is in the desert. Ain't nothing right. You can't you know in the desert. You can't grow stuff. No, you can't. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So you may feel like sometime on this journey, I promise you, amen, you feel like, amen, you're in a desert place. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're thirsty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't find no water. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is with you. There been time I was on this journey, just felt like, amen, I looked around, and it just, all oh, just sudden, sudden nothing but dry places. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But I had to continue to put my trust in God. That's right. I had to continue to believe that he going to work, he will, he will feed you. Hallelujah. He will give me water. What happened to children of Israel when they went over the, over the Red Sea into the, into the, into the wilderness? Yep. Hmm? They got out there and started doing what? Damn. Complaining. Complaining. Amen. Hmm? Yes. No water. No water. Then they didn't see Moses right. You brought us out here to die. die. That's how some folks see us, well, see the preacher. Yeah. You follow me then, hallelujah. Yeah. I, you heard the truth, you're so happy. Ready to give up everything to follow the truth. 
Yeah. But the Spirit leads us in the devil. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it'll, it'll lead you in the desert place. It'll, it'll lead you to the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. They love Moses first. first you going to free us? Years. Moses, Moses. Yeah. The huh? Yeah. It was all right till they got out there in the wilderness. <laughs> In the desert? Yes. And he said, well, you look what you did. And we do that to, our, to, to the man of God yeah. because the spirit leads you to a desert place. Uh-huh. Hmm. Now, you know, hey, man, now you doubt what the spirit has to say to you. Right. Yes. Hey, man, if you, if you follow me, then, hey, man, I follow the Messiah. That's what Paul said. Be ye followers yeah. of me, even as I, follow, as the I follow the Messiah. Yes. And I'm begging you, brethren. That you remember me in, in all, all things, things and keep the ordinances as I have delivered them unto you. Amen. You can't go to complaining because when you uh, because the spirit leads us to a desert place. Right. <laughs> Your life. Yes, Lord. Hmm. It's all, all turned messed up. Now you're all confused. Amen. I didn't know it was going to be like this, Pastor Washington. I didn't either. Amen. But the Lord already prepared us at the beginning. Yes, he did. If any man should come after me, let him first deny himself. Deny himself. That's the first thing we taught to. When you came there, you got to be willing to deny yourself and let him yes. take up his cross. Yes. Who told you you wasn't going to suffer? We told you that at the beginning. You're going to suffer. Things going to happen. If you never had a problem, you're going to get one. It's coming. Yes. If you never had to walk by yourself, the day's going to come, you're going to have to walk by yourself. You got to mean it, too. Yes. You can't say, I'm going to go if I got to go all by myself. And you're saying that when all your family in the church, you got to keep saying it when they ain't in the church. Leave. That's right. You can't leave your father and leave your mother and everything, then, and then follow the Lord, then after I, well, I started complaining. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, because yeah, your flesh is going to talk and how much you miss them and stuff. It's not fair. Hallelujah. Right. But your Jew is there, but he that seeks to save his life. Shall lose it. You're going to lose it. But he that will lose his life for my sake shall find it eternal. eternal. That's right. You don't get worse off when you lose your life. You become more like him. Amen. The longer you're trying to save your life. Trying to keep it. that thing that you think caused you to, to live. Yes. That nothing you possess yes. can cause you to live. Yes. But him. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you're not living it for him, then you're not living right. Not living. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes. The Bible says she that's living in pleasures, dead yes. while she lives. Yes. Right? Yes. So if I if our life is not dedicated to him, then it's all in vain. Yes. That's right. I mean, I love y'all, but I seek to serve the Lord. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not here because of none of you. Amen. No, Lord. I'm not here because of my wife. That's right. Amen. My, and my children is not the reason why I'm in church. No, Lord. My grandchildren is not the reason why I'm in church. Amen. I'm in this way to save myself. Amen. Because I believe I ain't going to come. I believe that their judgment will happen. And if, they, and if it's not going to happen, if there is no God, then I'm all right. Amen. At least I ain't, ain't going to reap the damnation of hell. But I can't take that chance. I can't take that chance. Too risky. To miss out. I can't take that chance. Hallelujah. Because what if there is a God? I can't take that chance. That's why the Bible said, without faith, it's impossible to please, to please him. But I know that he exists because he always manifests himself to me. Over and over again. I don't have to see him to know that he exists. Yes. This is his plan. His plan is you got to have faith. You got to believe that he's a rewarder. He will, he will, he will reward those who would diligently seek him. That's right. That's something you just have to believe. And without faith, it's impossible to please him. Yes, it is. Amen. I know there is a God. Yes. We was in the, and when, when we was in Grand Perry, we had we was, had a fundraising going on. We had purchased a, a, a barbecue, barbecue pit, a trailer. <coughs> and 
we was at the church and we was painting it, getting it all ready and all that, and these clouds started rolling in. Beautiful. Amen. 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 Clouds started rolling in, freshly painted. And we and, and the, amen. And so we prayed. Oh, yes. Lord, you know our heart. Hallelujah. Our yes. life is dedicated to you. You know our plan. Yes. We have purchased this, 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 <laughs> this, this uh, trailer yes. so we can raise funds that the gospel may go forth in all the world. Yes. Keep back the rain. You know what happened that day? It did exactly that. It did exactly that. It rained around the church. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. It rained, it, it rained around Amen. the church. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, I say that. I'm, I'm, I ain't talking about like, like the rain way over that. No, I'm talking about like yes. around the church. Yes. You can, go 30, you, go, you can go 30 feet and you'd be in the grass. <laughs> and it was raining there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. I'm not telling you. Well, you what someone told me, I'm a witness. Amen. 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 See, the, all this I read about in the Bible, yes, that the scripture teaches that that took place, I believe it. Amen. Amen. Because I have experienced this thing for myself. Yes. Brothers, we had came together. We're on a, a, a weak concentration of fasting. And on Saturday, we all came together. On Friday night, we all came together yes. over to who house was that? Brother Tony House. Yeah. We all, it's something we did every year. Yeah. And we all would sleep over on that Friday and wake up early in the morning, Saturday morning. And then Saturday night or Sunday morning? Saturday morning. Saturday morning. Wake up early in the morning at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Everybody out the bed. Yeah. We take our clothes off mm -hmm. and put on a sheet, cut a hole through a sheet the sheet on. And we all go get to gather together in one big room. Amen. And for an hour we'll read the scripture. And after we read the scripture, we'll sing a song and dance. Praise y'all in a dance yes. while we sing it. Hallelujah. And then we'll light an incense and we get on our knees and we'll pray to the incense burn out. And we, we, and we repeat that over and over and over yes. and over and over. From 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you get around four o'clock, you know you can barely dance. <laughs> yeah. you <ain't> got no <laughs> we gotta dance, right? <laughs> barely dancing. Cause you're tired, you're all worn out. Yeah. Barely paying attention, you're trying to stay up. Brother yeah. about to faint fall over. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then we get on our knee, we light that candle again. We barely get down on our knees. Counter, trying to keep our eyes open to, to talk to the Lord. Cry so much that there, there wasn't no more tears left to, to flow from our eyes. Crying out to the Lord. Amen. Everybody's so exhausted. We're so exhausted. We ain't got time to be talking about folk. You're too tired. You're trying to stay awake. You ain't looking at the other brother funny looking at underwears no more. Because yeah, I'm a brother, you know, they got the Mickey Mouse underwear and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff, you know. Make you want to talk, you know, make fun of. Right. But there ain't nothing left after all of that. Crying out after all that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I remember right, right before, we got on the right around about five something, we were trying to light that incense, and the incense <laughs> wouldn't light. So we threw that, put that incense to the side. We tried to light another one, that wouldn't light. So we moved that to the side. We got another one. We tried to light that one. That one wouldn't, Hallelujah. wouldn't light. And the Spirit spoke to the prophet. Said, y'all, prayers have been heard. Because that's what the incense represents in the Bible. The prayers of the saints. And the Spirit says, spoke to the prophet. Said, y'all, prayers have been heard. Y'all have, y'all have cried unto me with all your strength. There's nothing left. Oh, yeah, we got happy, too. <laughs> we were happy, but we were so exhausted. Yeah. So I, I, I brought, I know what I brought. Yeah. You know, I brought, I believe I brought a couple of apples for me and for my son, my two sons. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. 
Prophet Stafford bought just a little bag of grapes. That's all. That was it. And I think, I don't know who the other, some, some of them brought uh, bananas. Yeah. Pastor, Pastor Chill bought a couple bananas. And so we knew that the sister was going to bring the food at 6 o'clock. We knew they were going to bring it at 6. So what we did, I thought about, I said, oh, yeah, we got some fruit. And so while we were all in the living room. And, and you all listening to me? And we was all in the living room. We was laying down and laying up against one another. Yes. Yeah, laying up against one another. Laying on one another's lap. Amen. Now, I'm not gay. You couldn't do that before I came into church. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. You wasn't going to lay, no man going to lay his head on my thighs. That wasn't going to happen. But we've been reading all day. We got the word in us. The Bible talk about John, how he laid his head in Yeshua's bosom. Laid his head in Yeshua's bosom. That's why you got to walk in the spirit to understand the spirit. The Bible says, natural minded man cannot receive the spiritual thing which be of God because it's foolish to them. That, you know, we, you know, people have heard us say that. You mean you let another man lay his head on your thighs? I said, yeah, his head was on my thighs, and my head was on another brother's thigh. Amen. What? Hallelujah. They're natural mind. They don't understand. They can read that why you sure did it. They don't have no problem. Well, that's him. Well, you're supposed to be like him. I mean, who are you trying to be like, him or somebody else? Right. She wouldn't have no sugar in him. <laughs> he was holy. That love from above, the Bible said, is first peer. Amen. That, that love from above is first peer. What we was doing that day, it was nothing but pure love. Hallelujah. Are y'all listening to me, saints? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And while we was laying on one another and laying up against one another, I, I would, we just begin to just pass the fruit around. We just, I didn't say, well, well I should have brought y'all fruit. <laughs> it's just for me and my two boys. It didn't come to our mind. <laughs> we were just passing the fruits around, the, the apples, the, 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 the grapes, and the, and the bananas, and, and we were just eating, just having a good time, just rejoicing. That Yahweh number one, we saw how that three incense would not lit. We couldn't light it. That was a miracle by itself. And when the prophet said, God have heard our prayers, how he meant that he received our concentration, we rejoiced the more. And when the time came, when the sister pulled up, we saw those headlights. They pulled up. We know the sisters were coming with, you know, with the chicken and with all the good food. I told them, I said, y'all, younger brothers, I said, y'all, gather the fruits up and take it back in the kitchen. And when they gather the fruits up, don't you know we had more fruit than what we started off with? And when we saw that, we rejoiced the more. So, so, so do I believe do yes, I Lord. believe that Yeshua fed the 5,000 yes. according to the scripture? Yes, I believe it because I seen it for myself. Yes, I seen what happened to us that night. Yes. yes. Hmm? That's right. Are y'all getting this here? Yes, Lord. Yahweh, he with you. Hallelujah. And he promised that he would never leave you. That's right. Watch the word, read it. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, uh -huh. prepare ye the way of Yahweh. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Yes. Every valley shall be exalted. You hear the Bible talking? <laughs> Everyone that will humble themselves. Valley represent those that will humble themselves. You humble yourself. God will exalt you. Hmm? You humble yourself to who? You hum you're humbling, humbling yourself to him. Yes. When I say to him, I'm talking about to the word. 
because the word is him. Yeah, right. And everyone that will humble themselves yes. will be exalted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Every valley shall and be exalted. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain every and hill mountain shall, shall be made shall low. Shall be what, what, what? Be made low. If you think that you know something hmm? and you won't humble yourself, amen, to what the Spirit is saying to the church, yeah. then God bring you down. Oh, yeah. That's when you get in trouble. Yes. Hmm? yes Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch where read it. And the crooked shall be and made the what, straight. What, what, what? The crooked shall and be so made straight. When we come here, we're all crooked. Some we're all messed up, have problems. And that ain't every last one of us thought we were saved too. Oh yeah. You couldn't tell me I wasn't saved. Amen. I'd cuss you out if you did. Yes. Same thing. Get mad at you. Who are you? You don't know my heart. You don't know me. Who are you to judge me? Hmm? I knew I was saved. At least I thought I was. Until I came here. And everything that was crooked in my life. Shall be made because straight. I humbled myself. God straightened that up. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. How did God straighten it up? Amen. Through Yeshua. Amen. The Lord said, whom the Son set free. Is free indeed. Don't you know? If the Son have truly set you, and, and, and keep in mind, and who is the Son? Church. The church is the Son of God. Yeah. Hmm? So when you come to the church, yeah. to where the Son's at, yes. everything that's crooked in your life, if you're a liar, if you allow the Son to rule in your life, you will stop your lying. Yeah. Yeah. If you got a fighting spirit, you'll never fight again. <laughs> That's right. This thing would redeem the biggest freak. Yes. And give that, that person, amen, a, a, amen, a clean spirit, a right spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? You to be the, the worst thug in the world. Yes. Hmm? Hallelujah. Yes. This thing would clean you up. Amen. God told, I told, told Israel, though you'll see be red like scarlet, yes. hmm? I will make it white, white as snow. As snow. God said, the Lord said, I'll give you a life that no one will believe your testimony. When you get to testify where God bring you from, they say, I, ain't, I don't see that in you. Amen. Because whom the Son set free. Is free indeed. Is free indeed. Tonight, brother and sister, I can't speak for everybody. You have your own mouth. But tonight, I'm free. Yeah, did the devil attack me today? Of course he did. But he couldn't get me because I'm free. I don't listen to him no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to me, saints? Yes. Watch the word, read it. And the crooked shall and be the made crooked straight. crooked shall be made straight. And the rough Everything places in your life that's not right. Amen. When you get to Jerusalem. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be made straight. Yes. Come on. And the rough places. And the rough places. Plain. What? 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 Plain. You know, rough places. Yeah. Our life's so messed up. So rough. Some of us are just so messed up, so rough. But you come in and let this word get in you. Yes. Hallelujah. It settles you. That's right. This teaching that comes forth from this house settles you. You thought you, thought you couldn't be nice. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening to me, brothers? Hallelujah. Sisters? Rough places made. Amen. This thing, is, this thing will straighten your life up. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Bring some stableness in your life. That's right. Hmm? Yes, yes. Amen. So I never thought that bad the young man ever would man up to anything. Well, the church did that. That's right. So look, look, look at that young woman. Yes. I never thought she would man up to anything. Look at her. What happened to her? She's in the church. She made it to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. And the glory of Yahweh. And listen to it. Shall be revealed. Oh, my Lord, my God, my God. Has his glory been revealed to you? Yes. H have he showed you the, how to make your path straight? Yes. yes. And, he, and you know what? And only Yahweh glorified. Because the world know you. Hallelujah. They, the world know you. Know what type of person you were? Yes. Uh, I'm looking at, my, looking at my daughter, Destiny, right there. Love her, know you. Oh, yeah. Love her, know you. But you allow, allow Yeshua, let, uh, let, let Jerusalem, 
amen, sh uh, 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 shape you and mold you. Say, what happened to her? She's not the same person. Hallelujah. Amen. Who do you think receiving the glory? Yahweh. 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 I never thought he'd get out, get out the street. Yahweh did that. Amen. He's wild as a saber tooth, but now he's humble as a lamb. What? Well, Yahweh did that. The Jerusalem did that. That's right. That right. Diesel had no sense. I remember her, but Yahweh did that. When we went to when we went to Mexico. Everybody, when they heard that Apostle Moses was a preacher, they what? Not him. Amen. Right. That's what they, because they know him there. Amen. He was so bad, he kept going from city to city. City to city. That's how bad he was. Yeah. Moving from, moving from one, one kinfolk to another kinfolk. He was so bad, and they had to, he had to uh, leave Mexico to come here, because that's how bad he was. Then he got bad here. They wanted to send him back to Mexico. Mexico said, uh-uh, don't bring him down here. You don't want him. So they didn't believe that he was a preacher. They didn't believe that no way this man had cleaned himself up. They, that's what they told us. We didn't know, not Moses. Right. When we showed up that first time, they seen him, they couldn't believe that was him. Amen. Jerusalem did that for us. When you humble yourself, he will, God will exalt you. Amen. I don't care how low you fall. Amen. David, the Lord told, say, spoke and said, though you made your bed in hell. Yes. And some of us, we have done that with our ways. Yes. Our ways yes. just, just messed things up so bad for us. God said, but my arm is not short yes. that it can't save. Yes. Just got to reach up. Yes. Amen. He ain't going to reach down and grab you. You got to grab him. Yes. That's right. Yes. He's reaching his hand. You keep on put, knocking away. Well, You're going to stay in hell. Your life will never get better. That's right. But if he reach, he's reaching down, you reach up and get it. Yes. 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 He'll pull you out. Because then it shows that you want to come out. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to do what's right to do. Hmm? Yes. Come on, read. And the glory of Yahweh, and the shall, glory be of Yahweh shall be revealed. And all flesh and shall see all, it together. Y'all hear the Bible talking? So in other words, it doesn't make no difference what your condition is. He's able to save. Yes. yes. Hmm? yes. He saved me. I saw it. Amen. At the age of 20, I'm 62 tonight. But at the age yes. of 20, I saw it. Hallelujah. Hmm? Glory. Come on, read. And all flesh shall see it all together. All flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of For Yahweh has spoken Yahweh it. Have done what, what, what? Spoken he it. He has spoken it. Amen. He has spoken yes. it, saints. Yes. I believe it. Amen. Come on, read. The voice said, cry. The voice said, do, do what? Cry. And that's what we do here. We cry. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you don't like <laughs> when we cry. Yes, and when you see saints, you know, going outside. And yes. Going to the restroom. Yes. Get sick on church night and stuff like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Because the voice here is going to cry. Yes, it is. I mean, uh, uh, how many witnesses we have here? Did it cry when you were ready for it? And did it cry when, when, you, when you wasn't ready for it? Amen. It cried. Yes. 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 Paul told Timothy that uh, for him to speak the word, be instant in season and out of season. Preach it in season and I preach it when the people are ready to hear it and preach it when they don't want to hear it. Yeah, some folks, they run to the back. I just get closer to the mic like this here. I know a runner when I see one. Amen. 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 That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Spirit tells us to cry. Yes. It's best for the Spirit to cry now. Then you have to wait till the judgment day and the Spirit cry. But you can fix it now. You can fix whatever in your life that's not right, that is cricket. You can, you can fix it. That's right. Brothers and sisters, we must learn to go through our own trials Hallelujah. and quit trying to drag everybody in there with us. Amen. When you see someone that's being blessed, you ought to be happy for them and not sad. Hallelujah. I wonder why, the Lord, I mean, the Lord never do nothing like that. Fuck me. 
You ain't going to do it till you learn to be happy for somebody else. You got to learn to weep with them that weep. And you got to learn to rejoice with them that do rejoice. You got to learn to care about people. That's right. Liam got, Liam, you like him got that car trying to show off. You'd be showing it too if you had it. Saying I want to thank y'all wait for my new car, the Lord bless me with. Yeah, after show, I would, I would like y'all come out and take a look at him again, showing off. Why did that bother you? Why would you allow a car to bother you? You ought to be happy. You know that brother been walking for 10 years. Hmm? Yeah. And you don't like when he call you, ask you to, to, to take him somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you ask the Lord to give him a car. Now you finally got one. Now you're mad. You say what? Say he cried out to God to give him a car. Yeah, he cried out to God to give him a car. You always bless him with one. Because he don't like the way your, your face dis, you know, becomes disfigured every time he asks you to take him to work. We got to learn to be happy for one another. We got to learn to be happy. And quit letting Satan tell you you're not blessed. You are blessed. Bible calls that envy. Yeah. Yeah. That spirit is called envy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Learn to be thankful for what y'all was given unto you. Yeah. Yeah. I have a grandson, Isaiah. Richard be telling me that he, sometimes he creeps. He says, Mom, why is my brother them? They so light skinned, lighter than him. That, that's that, that that's something that he wrestles with. And why do they got better hair? <laughs> so Rachel said, baby, look, you are beautiful. You're a handsome young man. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. It's up to the parents to teach him to be thankful. Yahweh made him to be what he is. And that's not another Esaias. No, it's not. Now he's growing up. He got to learn to, to, to fight envy because if he don't fight it, envy is going. That nice child is going to change. Gonna change. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Then he'll become ugly to people. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got to watch out for that spirit of envy. Amen. Emulation, competing with one another. We're not here to compete with one another. Watch they ass is watching the same like she's the only one can sing in church. <laughs> and that bother you, oh, don't let five people ask her to sing Sunday morning. That bother some, they that shut down, won't sing. Because they think they can out sang her. <laughs> I can sing too. Why they'll never ask me to sing? You gotta watch out for that spirit. Yes. Learn to be thankful. That's right. Giving thanks, the Bible said, in all, all things, things, not something, all things. Yeah, like Michelle, I don't want to sing in Spanish. <laughs> well, I mean, why I'm in church for? You got your hand up? Because that little, oh, that, you didn't, oh, that, yeah, yeah that, that, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise Yahweh. I'm very thankful for the way the word is going forth because um, with the, uh, what, what did we call that? The concert came around for Sister Michelle to come up here and see. Uh, Satan came and talked to me. I said, yeah, well, I, who did? Satan, Satan came and he talked to me in my ear. Y y Yahweh? Satan oh, okay. came and talked to me in my ear. And Satan wanted me to remember every 
evil thought that I had about my sister-in-law when we used to work together. Mm -hmm. And as soon as Satan came to me, I said, thank you, Father Yahweh. I said, Satan, I'm coming. And not only am I coming, he was like, well, it's for Michelle to, to sing. It's not for us to sing, so it's for Michelle. I said, so I was here, front and center. I was praising Yahweh right along with her. I said, say, you can't come in between me and my sister anymore because I, I recognize you. I can see you. Mm -hmm. So it's for us to see, okay, Satan's talking, but what am I going to do when he comes and he talks to me? Amen. Right. And we all got to do that because he talks to all of us. That's right. I said he talked to all of us. Amen. Well, I mean, what? Now, 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 uh, now, now listen to me. Now, now, Satan been to you too, haven't he? Oh, yeah. He ain't never been to my house. <laughs> now we know you ain't been truthful. You live in your house. Oh, yeah. If you think that way. Very comfortable. So what do Satan come to you about concerning your brother? Right. Remember the apostles, they came to use Yeshua concerning his, uh, uh, the brethren in church. And Yeshua told them, be, 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 beware of covetousness. He yes. saw it in them. Yes. Beware of covetousness. Yes. Uh, yes. Satan come to me about all y'all, all the time. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Everybody. Not Everybody so. in Mexico. <laughs> Everybody in all of them. My they came to me this morning about some of y'all in here. Nonstop. But you know what? I don't listen to nothing he tell me about you. I'm going to always love you. I'm going to always treat you right. I'm always going to think about you. Because he, he don't dwell here no longer. This, hey man, not this temple. He's not here no more. I refuse to let him in. Hallelujah. He can knock all he wants to. You can't. And I say, who there? And he says, Satan, well, you're not welcome. Amen. That's when he come to your house. <laughs> hmm? Y'all getting this tonight? Yeah. Watch the word, read it. The voice said cry. The voice said do what? Cry. So we going to cry out? Amen. The voice said cry. And he said, what shall and I cry? And he said, cry? what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. Oh, y'all getting this here, brothers and sisters? Ain't no boasting here. Right. Ain't, you ain't nothing to you without the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Ain't nothing to you without the church. Because right. the church right. is what keep you out of, out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. The church is the only thing that will keep you out of sin. Yeah. Right. The church. Yeah. The marriage is going to work at all. The church is going to make it work. It's going to help it to get where it needs to be. That's right. If a man going to ever grow up and be a man, the church is going to be the one that does do it. The church. It's going to teach you everything. That's right. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, Lord. That's why I love this place. I can't get relaxed. Well, the Spirit going to cry. Yes. Hmm? yes. Yeah, read. All flesh is grass. All flesh. Y'all getting this here? Yes. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Oh, yeah. You moving on? Mm -hmm. You moving on? You moving on? Your flesh is like grass. And all the, God, all the goodliness. And all the goodliness. Thereof is as the flower all of the field. All that your flesh like is just like the flowers of the field. Amen. The grass withering. It's going to go fade away. And the flower fading. Ain't gonna, when you get through doing everything you want to do, amen, the only thing left is the word. That's it. Hmm? Have you walked according to the flesh and did what all you want to do, but at the end of the day you say, I should have did what the Spirit told me to do. Right? Yeah. Because the word of God is what lives and abides forever, not you. Your flesh know that. Your flesh know it's going back. It'll get you in trouble, but it know it's going back to the dust. Oh, yeah. As soon as it get in trouble. Hmm? All flesh. That means yours too. Mine's yours. Come on, yeah. read. All, all flesh is grass. Yes. And all the goodliness thereof yes. is as the flower it's of the like field. like the flowers of the field. The grass withering. It withered. And the flower That's fading. When the sun sprang up, it withered on it. Yes. And the, and the what? Flower fades. It fades on how beautiful the flower is. It fades. Yes. So it's on how smooth your leg is one day. Yep. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't care how thin you are, but one day. Yes. I don't care how beautiful your hair is, but one day. Mm -hmm. Brother, I don't care how strong you are, but one day. One day. 
Yeah, I'm a yellow hammer. Yellow hammer. One day you're going to be an old looking yellow hammer. And nobody ain't going to want you. Hmm? That's right. Y'all getting this here? Yeah. Yeah, read. The grass withering. The grass withering. The flower fades. Flower fades because away. Because the spirit of Yahweh. But the what? 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 Because the spirit because of Yahweh. Because the spirit of Yahweh. Bloweth upon it. It does. What? 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 Bloweth upon it. Hmm? God yeah. is out. And God letting us know every day. Your days are numbered. Surely the you people came from the grass. dust, you will go back to the dust. And that's why we got to get right. Yeah. Because we're going back to the dust. That's right. Uh-huh. Surely the people Surely of his the grass. Surely people of his, his grass. Yes. Yes. The grass withered. And the grass withered. The flower the faded. The flower, see, we don't walk according to his will and do what he wants us to do, then we fade us away. Yeah. We, don't you know we're supposed to be the light of the world? Amen. Hmm? Showing the whole world how we ought to walk, how we should be. That's right. And we, if we don't do that, what happens? Amen. We fade away. Amen. We can't, just can't get happy because we go to church. Amen. That's right. Children of Israel, they were just happy knowing that they was the children of Israel. Amen. Then the Lord and the apostles had to come back and let them know, amen, that the true Israelite is not them that's of flesh, but that is born of the spirit. Yeah. Hmm? So what God do? He took the Israel. He said, "I, I." He, he took their pumps away. He took their glory away. That's right. Hmm? So that what? So what? The issue was telling me. Say, so you're of your father, the devil. How much they want to claim Abraham to be their father? How much they want to claim that they only have one God, that Yahweh was their God? But Yeshua said, "No, you're of your father, the devil." <laughs> That's why, Amen. When 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 Yeshua came on the scene. Amen. He took that glory away from Israel. Yes, he did. That's why he said, except a man should be born again. Yes. Not by flesh and blood. Nicodemus was a Jew. And, and Yeshua was saying, being the Jew is not enough to save you. You got to be born again. Hallelujah. You ain't going to be yes. boasting about Abraham. They, they, there's a faith that's of, of Abraham. Yes. How, not them that's of the seed of Abraham. Them that's of the, of the faith of Abraham that's are right. the children of Abraham. But you are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you we will do. Yes, Lord. So he said, except a man be born again yeah. of the water and spirit, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Hmm? That's right. You're not, you're, not, you're not by blood, you're not a Jew, you're not a Hebrew. Amen. Hallelujah. But a true Hebrew, Paul says, is that him that was is born of the spirit. Amen. He truly is a Jew. He truly is a Hebrew. Hallelujah. By promise, not by flesh. By promise. Hmm? <coughs> oh, that is of faith, the Bible said. Is of faithful Abraham. That's right. Do you have faith tonight? Amen. Yes. Do you believe the teaching? Hallelujah. Then you truly Abraham seed. That's right. You can be black as tar, or white as cotton, but you are truly Abraham seed if you're doing this thing. Yes, yes Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are y'all getting this here? Yes. Come on, let's read. The grass withereth. The grass withereth. The flower fadeth. Flowers flay faded. But the word of Yahweh. But the word of Yahweh shall stand forever. Are y'all getting this here? Yes. Shall stand forever. Amen. Hmm? Come on, read. O Zion. O Zion. That bringeth good tidings. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Yes. Where are you tonight? Zion. Where are you tonight? Zion. Where are you tonight? You in Zion right now. That spiritual Zion. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, read. O Zion. O Zion. That bringeth good that tidings. Bring what, 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 what? That bringeth good what tidings. What we teach is good. Yes. Nothing wrong with what we teach. Hallelujah. Amen. I read. Get thee up into the high Come mountain. Into the high mountain. O Jerusalem. Come on up in the highest, in the highest spirit of Yahweh. Yeah. And Paul said, I press for that prize, for that higher. Come on up higher. Huh? Come on up higher. Yeah. Get on up there. You, you come to church, you hear what God wants of you. Now get on up there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it's a press. Paul said, I, I press for that pride. Yeah, it's a press. It is. To do all that God wants you to do. You got to press to do it. That's right. You got to make yourself do it. Amen. You, you got to make yourself love. With your mean self. Amen. You got to make yourself a give with your unforgiving self. You got to make yourself to, to show mercy yes. with your merciless self. Amen. Hmm? 
You got to make yourself work together when you don't like being together. Yes. You got to make yourself reverence your husband Amen. when you're not something you're not accustomed to do. You got to make yourself love your wife as your own flesh, something that you're not accustomed to doing. Yes. But you know that's what God wanted. That's what he wants. That's right. Hmm? Amen. You know that's what God wanted. And you got to get on up there. Yes. Get thee up into a high mountain. Hmm? For it. O Jerusalem. O Jerusalem. That bringeth good tidings. That bring good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Come on now. Yes. Don't weed testimony. Yes. And yes, yeah, saying, and, and I tell you, and that devil, he was, he was talking to, to, to me today, and then... I um, then I started to cry, and so, and so then, I just thought about it, and I, 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 I wanted to cuss, and I and uh, I, but um, so I just asked the church to pray for me. Now, that's too weak now. That's too weak. Yes. When are you going to learn to stop cussing? Yeah, right. right. And start blessing? Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's right. Walk like someone knows, amen, what you're doing. Yeah. Know, know, you know what role you're on. You know who you're fighting against. Yeah. You, are, you have clear understanding that your battle is not with flesh and blood. Amen. That's right. Amen. Your battle, the Bible said, we don't wrestle against flesh, flesh and blood. blood. That's not what we wrestle with. But that's what the devil keeps pointing at, though. Yeah. He wrestles against spiritual wickedness. In high places. In high places. Yeah. And one thing about the devil, he knows someone that is soft. Yeah. He knows soft people. Yeah. He knows he know those just be talking. Mm -hmm. What happened to those men that try to cast out that devil? The, the those devil demons that was in them. that one man. The devil leaps on them. <laughs> Playing church. Yep. Yeah. And the devil spoke to him, did he? Yep. He said, oh. Yeshua we know, Paul and Paul we know, but who are you? Who, are you? who do you to tell me to come out of somebody? Yep. The Bible said they, they leaped on them. Tore them to pieces. Tore them up too. Yes. Say, say no, who, 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 who will listen to him? Mm. He, he, amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. I tell you, I don't like him. That's, that's what I, I can't stand. <laughs> I hate the devil. And he hates me. And he hates me. That's right. Me and the devil, we cannot agree. You got nothing to agree Me and the devil, we had a tussle. I've come to church, let everybody know I won. I yes, won. we had a tussle and I won. Yes. Hmm? Right. No one should testify and you leave us thinking whether or not you lost <laughs> or won. Yeah. What is it again, uh, amen. Pastor? Amen. Lift up thy voice with strength. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Yes. Amen. Lift your voice up with strength. Amen. And what are you lifting up? You lifting up, amen, what the Spirit told you to do. Amen. Right. Amen. When I don't hear your, your testimony, I know you ain't fighting. Amen. Come on. And when I don't hear you, I can't hear it. That means you haven't came out of it yet. That's right. You're still in there. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift it up with strength. With strength. Lift mm -hmm. it up. Yes. Be not afraid. And don't what, brother? Be Who's... not afraid. You can't. You got to stop fearing. Amen. You have to stop fearing <laughs> following God. Amen. And if you're afraid, who gave that spirit to you? The devil. According to the scripture. Satan. Satan gave it to you. Amen. Why are you so afraid to do what God told you to do? Right. Hmm? Yes. I never liked flying. I never tried to fly till I came to church. That's, that's true. I would drive to New York before I fly there, before <laughs> I came into church. Yes. That's right. But now, since I've been giving myself over to Yahweh, I have nothing to fear. Amen. Mm? That's right. So I get on that plane by faith. Yes. 
I mean, we were going to Kansas City. Adiza thought she, she said between me and Carrie, she's safe. The safest place. Yeah, she on the plane. We're all on the plane. And, and then she coming. Uh, her seat was not the seat between me and Carrie. <laughs> uh-uh. That wasn't her assigned seat on her ticket. Uh-uh. We all, all getting on the plane. They know she's showing up, standing next to me, and I'm looking at her. Well, I, I thought she wanted something. She asked anybody sitting between you, me and her. Well, no. Can I sit there? That, that, but this not your assigned seat. <laughs> she, well, yeah, she, she didn't think about Robert. No, Josh. Josh, Sarah, her husband. She left him. <laughs> Pregnant Sarah on top of all that. She didn't think about She was saving herself. Saving herself. But somehow, for some reason, she thought sitting between us, <laughs> she'd be safe. Like that part of the plane don't crash. Yeah. The other part gonna fall down. The other part will fall away and everything. And <laughs> but I'm between Pastor Wise and Sister Wise. I know they live right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and long as that plane was in there, you know what she was doing? She was meditating. <laughs> she was praying. <laughs> yep. She wasn't thinking about no wrong that anyone did to her. No. Not at all. You don't want to live that kind of life. You want to live the kind of life you know God's going to protect you because you're walking upright. Your own work. You got your own work. Yes. Paul said you rejoice in your own work, not in somebody else's. That's right. Amen. Only then, brothers and sisters, you've been set free. Yes. Hmm? Yes. I don't put my confidence in man. Oh, no. My confidence in the most high. Enough, hmm? Amen. Watch what we read. Lift it up. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Don't be what, brothers and sisters? Be not afraid. Don't be afraid to walk alone if That's you right. have to. Yes. And be not afraid. Say unto the cities Say of unto Judah. Say the cities of Judah. Behold now your the God. the cities of Judah represent the churches. Yes. Hmm? So our message in Lubbock that we have here, we take it all, it'd be the same message. That's right. Go to Mexico, it'd be the same message. Same message. The cities in this verse represent the churches. Yes. Hmm? The churches that the apostles them set up. Amen. <laughs> Throughout their generation, praise God, the Spirit has something to say to those churches. That's why the Bible says, he that has an ear to hear, let, let him, him hear what the Spirit said to the, the churches. Church yes. Ain't no need to run from one church to another. You're going to get the same message. Same one. Ain't no need to get mad here. Right. Want to run somewhere else? You gonna get it when you get there. That's if it's God Church. Yes. You heard me talk? Yes. Come on, read. Say unto the cities of Judah. Read it. Behold your God. Y'all getting this here? Yeah. Behold your God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Behold. Look at him. Yes. The, Look at what he's doing among the us. The Lord Yahweh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Look at what he's doing among us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't. Amen. Amen. Behold amen. your God. Amen. Behold the Lord Behold Yahweh. Behold the Lord Yahweh. Will come with he strong will hand. Come with what, 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 what? Strong so hand. So you're looking around just saying like, yeah, there's death everywhere. Yeah. Weakness everywhere. Mm -hmm. You stay strong. That's right. And you stay steadfast. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He will deal with the sinners in Zion. Amen. Hmm? Yes. Don't you know in Zion, there's going always be sinners in Zion. And Zion represent what? It represents the church. You're going to always and, and have sinners in the church, people that not, that's not going to do what's right to do. you always have that. Yeah. That's why Yeshua, when he gave that parable about those ten virgins, he said, virgins, if five of them were wise, wise and five of them were foolish. foolish. Right. That's why the, the Lord, when he spoke a parable, he spoke about the tear and the wheat. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Right. That's why he spoke it. So you don't be confused. <laughs> now I see that brother walking up right, and he's doing what the Spirit told him to do. I said, that's a wheat. Yes. But I see that brother just goes in one ear, come out the other. I said, that's a tear. Yeah. I don't expect the tear. To, I don't expect to, to take a tear and put it in the oven. Uh -uh. The wheat is made to eat. Not the tear. Right. Tear made to burn. Amen. The chaff made to burn. That's right. Right? Yeah. So I understand that. So I don't look around and get discouraged. 
Now, there's always going to be people in church not right. Yeshua said, have not I chose you, chose you 12. One of and you one of devil. you is a devil. Yes. One of you is. One of you. You always have somebody. Yes. You always have a Judas in the church. Always. That's right. Always. Yes. So when you read about Judas, you should be able to say, oh, I'm not going to be him. If, if, if you don't say you're not going to be him and labor not to be him, you will be him. That's right. Amen. Yes. Thank y'all where we can choose who we choose to be like. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going if I'm on, if I'm on, if I'm if I'm going to be here in church, I'm going to do it right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yes. Hmm? I said if I'm going to be here, I'm going to do this thing right. Hallelujah. I'm going to walk with faith. Yes. So when the Lord do come, you know, my wife and I, my wife said, she's doing, she, you know, we both read the script. It's about, it's going to be two in the bed. One going to be taken, the other going to be left. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So she looked at me and said, all right. And I know it ain't going to be left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we both, in order for us both to go back. Yep. Hallelujah. That's I mean, we right. both got to walk up right. Yes. For your own self. She you knows she do us, she do what she's supposed to do as a wife. She take care of me. Yes. I Amen. do a, as a husband. I take care of my wife. Yes. We're not at home arguing. No, Lord. Not getting along. Mm -mm. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. They said, baby, you take out the trash. Yeah. You know why I keep bringing it up? Because some brothers still got that problem with the trash. Oh, yeah. They, they, don't, mind. they don't mind eating up all the food and throwing all the trash in the trash. They, ain't gonna, they don't want to take the trash out. Yeah. Oh, fill up. <laughs> Three or four bags in the kitchen. Yes. Don't want to walk out to the dumpster. Uh -uh. So you know what I do? Amen. I get up and take it on out. Yes. That's right. Before it be an argument. I don't need you to tell me when to take the trash out. I'm not stupid. Right. I can see the trash is full. I don't need you to keep telling me it's full. Uh -huh. Why you why you keep coming about this with this stuff? Right. Y'all hear me talking? Yes, Lord. That's right. Hmm? Yes. She's the chase keeper at the high. Amen. That's right. I don't want my wife walking all the way out there to the dumps. No. There's going to be some stray dogs. Stray dog, and she's going to scare the dogs as it is. Right. Yes. She locked her house to stay clean. Yeah. So she said, today, she said, baby, can you take out the trash? I got up. As a good husband, like God told me to do. And I got the trash, and I didn't mumble all the way out there. She's getting on my nerves, taking the trash out all the time. All the, every day, somebody taking the trash out like I don't know. <laughs> no. That's right. The Bible says those small foxes that destroy the vine. We know you ain't going to and kill nobody, but you sure get out the spirit with that trash, though. Yes. Just the same. Huh? Yes. Watch the way read it. Behold the Lord Yahweh. Behold the Lord Yahweh. Will come with a strong He's hand. coming with a what kind of hand? A strong hand. He's going to help you that is sincere. Yes. You that want to do better. Yes. Huh? Amen. Want to go higher. He's coming with a strong hand. And his arm shall and rule his arm for him. shall does what? Shall rule it for shall him. shall rule for him. What is arm? Is it not the word? Yes, it is. Does not it rule? Yes. If you write today because that hand rules. That's right. I'm going to say, I don't walk with my husband no more. What happened? Yes. That hand ruled. Was ruling for. <laughs> yes. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. My wife and I have peace in our home. I don't have a job, but there's still peace in our house. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch the way I read it. Behold, his reward is with him. His reward is with him. And his work before and his him. His work is before him. He shall feed he his shall flock feed like his a shepherd. Flock. Like what? Like a shepherd. Now, don't we, do we not have a good shepherd? Yes. God cares for us. Hmm? That's right. He cares for us. Hallelujah. Amen. How does he feed us? It's, not, it's, it's with the word. With the word. Hallelujah. When we hear the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeshua said, you are cleansed through the words which well, I've spoken, spoken unto you. you. That's how you clean yourself up. <laughs> hmm? 
Yes. He will feed his flock. Like a shepherd. Like a shepherd. He shall gather the and lambs with his arm. He shall gather the lamb what? With his arm. With his arm. With his arm. Yes. Not yours. He is. His arm. So we come here to be taught, amen, how we should walk and how we should please God. That's right. Come on, read. And carry them and in he, his he bosom. Shall carry them in his bosom. And shall gently and shall lead gently those that are with lead young. Those that were young. Amen. In Mexico, gently now. Yes. <laughs> gently now. They babes. Yes. Gently now. Amen. That was us, Pastor. Why should be all on us? Well, you've been in church 10 years. Yeah. You're not young. <laughs> no more young. You no more young. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Come on, read. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand uh -huh. and met out of heaven with a span read it. and comprehended the dust of the earth read in a it. measure read it and weighed the mountains in the scale read it and the hills in a balance read it who had directed the spirit of Yahweh read it or being his counselor no one taught been him. his counselor so we come here to be taught by him that's you right. don't come to church to teach the church nothing that's right don't you understand that Amen. you don't come to ignite God church and teach the church nothing Amen. you come to the church to be taught amen it asks the question, who, who going to be, who is his counselor? Yes. Amen. Yes. You sure already said things in order. Yes. Why you say he gave gifts them to men. Amen. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. <laughs> it didn't say brothers and sisters, it said apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the perfecting, perfecting of, the, of the church. Yes. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying, for the of, the edifying of the body of the Messiah. Messiah. Until we all come Unto to what? The unity of the Unto the unity. What, without the fussing and going on. Right. Because the scripture tells us how we ought to walk. Yes. Until we all come, come into the, the unity of the faith. Of the faith. Why is that faith? Because you got to believe what's written. Amen. You have to believe the message when it go forth. Amen. So you'll never become like the Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes. So we won't be tossed to and fro every wind of doctrine. There's a whole bunch of teaching going on out there. Yeah. You can't bring that to the church. It don't That's work right. here. Amen. I came to church <laughs> with a doctrine. Oh, yeah. Thought I was right. Yes. Hmm? But I learned to hear everything I threw out that was wrong. Hey, every, everything. everything. Not some of it. All of it was all wrong. All of it. Yes. Hmm? Amen. That's why Apostle Paul, when he came to the church, he had to let everything go. Everything yeah. he was taught, he had to let it go. Paul said, I count it all but dumb. dumb. That's right. Thesis. Yeah. Some he said, all that I learned from Gamaliel. Yeah. Gamaliel was one of the greatest teachers was in this generation at that time. Yes. Very educated. Very educated. But didn't know the law. Taught no. the law, but didn't know it. Didn't know what those things represented in the law. No. So Paul said, I count it all but dumb. Yes. That I may win the excellence and knowledge of the Messiah. That I might be found in the Messiah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And not in the law. Hmm? Paul would stone you if you ate a pork. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Paul changed the testimony. Thing, come my, every creature of God is good. It's good. <laughs> but the law said good. it wasn't. Right. Certain thing was unclean. Unclean. Be. Yes. See, when the Lord fixed you up, that's why he had to let all that go. Yes. He come on talking like just like the Lord and all other apostles. Every creature of God is good. Uh, nothing nothing to, be to be refused if you just give thanks for it. Because hmm? it's sanctified by the word of God and yes. prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 Before, we didn't know all that. We didn't know that before. He, he, he pork, he worms in your belly. That's why we asked you to pray for it. That's cursed. Amen. Hey, one woman told me, I tell me on the job, you ought to be ashamed, y'all say. Hmm? Hmm. You know, in the beginning when God created man, there wasn't no killing going on. Man, it was eating the herbs of the ground. Was no nobody eating chicken and Nobody eating fish, and there was no no lions killing other animals. All, yeah, the creature God created at the beginning, they ate, they ate the herbs of the ground, the trees that bear fruits. Mm -hmm. You ought to be ashamed, y'all say. I said, well, God's the one that changed his mind. Yeah, he did. He can do it. The same one that said, don't do it, he can turn around and say, you can do it. 
Yes. You talking about where they got? I'm just saying <laughs> that they that 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 chicken got a life. I mean, this woman on the job, I mean, she was stirring up and stuff. People hated to see her come. Every time they see her coming, they just hate during lunch, lunch yeah. time. Don't they would hate to, to see her coming because she's going to say, mm, poor old fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that poor lamb. That lamb, was, that, lamb, that lamb had life. And, and, and y'all went and killed that lamb. So she yeah. come across me. She ain't never met an apostle. No. She, t- she was doing me like that at the table. And I looked at her, and she was eating a salad. Poor lamb. I said, that poor salad. <laughs> <laughs> that poor lettuce. <laughs> Mind his own business, but you went out there and plucked him up. He had a life. <laughs> Look at that poor old Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, had a, Carrie had a life, and you plucked it up. Mm-hmm. And she looked like, gone, Harvey. Well, you started it. <laughs> That have a life too. Hallelujah. Yes. Now we all walk with our attitude and we all gonna starve and die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you want to argue about what you can and can't eat. Right. So let's just do what the what the man of God told us to do. Yes. Every creature of God is he good is and good. nothing to be refused. That's right. Amen. If you receive it with thanksgiving, Amen. with the word of God and prayer, Amen. it's Amen. sanctified. Yes. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, one, another woman on the job told me where God cursed that pork, that pea. I said, well, God also cursed the gram. Yep. Huh? You, still, the you still eating that lettuce? God <laughs> cursed the ground too. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. See, he did what? I said, he cursed the ground. Yes, he did. Ground is cursed. Everything God made is cursed now. It's That's cursed. why we got the a blessing. Yes. Get, get on, amen. Mm-hmm. That's why you have to bless it. Yes. You get sick eating an apple. So yeah. bless it. Yep. Living water. Hmm? Amen. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I was talking to this 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 Muslim guy. You know, they, of course, they don't believe eating pork and all that kind of oh, stuff. No. Can't eat catfish. Uh-uh. You know, those unclean beasts and all that. Yep. And they tell you why you can't eat it, and you know the pork could give you high blood pressure. <laughs> but he over there popping pills. You got high I said, "What's that for? Uh, my blood pressure? Wait, 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 wait a minute. How's your blood pressure up there? And you don't even t- eat none of that stuff you say give you blood pressure. What you what you doing at the hospital? Right. Why your sugar's all out of whack? Yes. Hmm? Amen." That's why we follow the teaching of Yeshua. That's right. So we don't be tossed to and fro with every man right. of doctrine. By the slate of man. By the slate of man. Man ain't carrying all them. They, they only speak a thing they know naturally. Amen. Hallelujah. But we're right. in the church where the Holy Ghost teaches us all things. And bring to back to our remembrance the things that Yeshua taught, <laughs> not no one else. Right. Come on, let's read. I need to get through. Who has directed the who spirit directed of Yahweh? The spirit of Yahweh. And being his counselor, who have has taught Yahweh him. Counsel. Who have taught Yahweh? Amen. Come on. With whom took he counsel? And who did he take counsel with? And, and who instructed and him? And who instructed our God? And taught him and in the path of judgment. taught him in the path of judgment. And taught him knowledge. And taught him knowledge. And showed to him and the way of him understanding. The ways of what? 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 Of understanding. Who did it? Who? That's why you can't come to God church with, amen, with, 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 with what you think. Mm-mm. Because the Holy Spirit is what we are guided by. Amen. Hmm? Amen. By teaching we get here, you don't find nowhere else. Amen. No, Lord. Not going to find it. You're not. Hmm? Amen. Watch the word read it. Behold the nations. Look at the nations. Or as a drop they of a bucket. just like a drop in the bucket. And are counted as, a, counted small as dust a small dust of the balance. Of the valley. Balance. Behold. Yes. He taketh up the aisles. He take up. As a very little li- thing. It's a very little thing. Amen. Come on. And Lebanon yes. is not sufficient to burn. It's not, yes. Nor the beast thereof yes. sufficient for a burnt sac offering. You know, all these places that people look to to be something great. Yeah. God, they look, ain't, ain't nothing to none of those things. Amen. I'm Yahweh. Yes. You are my witness whom I have chosen. I'm your God. I will direct your step. Yes. Huh? I will teach you the way that you should go. Amen. Hmm? And how do you do that? In the place that we call church. Amen. 
Huh? Yes. Watch the word, read it. All nations. All nations. Before him are as nothing. Read it. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Read it. And vanity. And vanity. To whom then will you liken God? God? Said, to whom, that the, I said, to whom shall you liken God? Or what likeness and, will you compare him to him? And who will you him? compare him to? The workman melteth a graven this image. This is what folks doing, so-called religious people. They got their way of worshiping God. Yes. Yes, yes I read on. The workman melteth a graven image. Read on. And the goldsmith spreadeth it over the, with gold. Read it. And casteth silver chain. Read it. He that is so impoverished. Read that he had no oblation chooseth a tree Read. that will not rot. Won't, what, what, what? That will not rot. Uh -huh. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman Read. to prepare a graven image. That's what we do today. That shall not be Spiritual moved. Spiritual soul is what men do today. Yes. Why you, why you think that we have all these different churches today? Amen. It's a church out there for everybody. Oh, yeah. Amen. Find someone that will design salvation the way you think it ought to be, uh, be set up. But God church ain't like that. Right. You, you come to be taught. Yes. And we're going to speak the word whether you like it or not. Right. You want to be gay? That's a church out there for you. Yes, sir. You can be gay. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. I hate no, I tell you, they hate that. I'm telling you, they, have, they were fashioned the way you wanted to be fashioned. Oh, yeah. Because the Bible says there's a way that seems right, right, unto, seem a right unto a man. It just seemed right, seemed but right. the end of is the ways of destruction. destruction. You want to be prejudiced in the church out there? Yes. We visited a church in uh, Tecolatito, and we, we was all right going on there. They loved to see us coming. And one day, the Spirit spoke to me while we were sitting there. It was during praise service, too. We was all dancing and praising the Lord, everybody on one accord. We were traveling there for years. Right, Sister Mother Tori? Having a wonderful time. We said we finally met some Spanish people that was going to accept us. Right. Yes. And we were dancing. They'll feed us and cook us and hallelujah. Yes. The mother of the church would say, Pastor Washington, you're just too skinny. Come on in here. Yes. And they bring me all these tortillas. <laughs> and they don't realize that one tortilla will give me food. Because yes. bread, period, gives me food. Right. I have, I have, I have, if I eat bread, I'm going to get full. Yes. One piece of bread. I want my wife and she cooked me pancakes about that big. One. Yeah. And that'll give me food. <coughs> Bread just just filled me for some reason. Yes. And I eat shrimp all day long. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, and I, we're having a wonderful time. You take a little Tito. Am I right about the Hadith? But you didn't church at that time? No? Okay. You were just a little boy. You, you wasn't born. Mm -hmm. Way back then before you was born. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And one day while I was, in the, I was in the pool pit up there, and we were just having a good time, just saying, just having a wonderful, wonderful time. And the Spirit spoke to me. That's the apostle. That's one more thing. That's why we don't write our message down. God told the apostle, don't even think about what you're going to say. Pray. I'm going to give it to you in that, very hour. In that same hour. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I want you to touch on. <laughs> and I was sitting there, we were dancing, we were having a good time with our Spanish saint brother and sister. Take yes. a Latito. Huh? Amen. The Spirit spoke to me and said, the people here are prejudiced. That's all it said, said just the people here are prejudiced. Amen. And when they said that, I, I sit there and, wait a minute, Lord, what? what? It was hard to believe. Yeah. I stopped dancing, so I sat down. I said, what? Lord, why you show me this? I didn't see it. They never showed it. Never showed any sign that they wasn't happy that we was there. Right. Invited to their home and And I'm looking at them around. I'm trying to see what the Lord is trying to, what the Lord has shown me. I'm looking with my eyes. Couldn't see it. Yeah. But I know the Lord spoke it to me. Amen. And I sit there and waited till the Lord to come back. I didn't, I didn't play no more tambourine. I was just sitting there just looking. Yeah. Trying to, I was puzzled. Lord, why did you show me this? 
What do you mean they pray? I'm looking at all that they, what we do together. Mm-hmm. And the Lord spoke to me again. I, I, I said, he said, they are prejudiced, but they don't know it. Amen. So I sit there. I said, well, you show this to me. I'm not your counselor. You're my counselor. I cannot defend. It may go against the Lord. Man, he meant when the Lord himself has spoken. <laughs> I'm not going to be like Peter. Not so, Lord. I, I can read about Peter. I don't want to be him. No. Arguing with the Holy Ghost. So when I sat there and I waited, and soon I stood up, and now I'm, and I'm, sitting, I'm sitting there still thinking, how, what am I going to say? How am I going to present this to the people? Yeah. And normally the Lord speak to me earlier, a full time, but this time he waited till I got up there. So I'm sitting there and I'm sitting to myself, well, I know you're going to give me words to say before I stand up. You got to. And here they are, the, the pastor of the church. We thank the Lord for uh, Pastor Washington here with us. We know that the Holy Ghost used him. And he, when he speak, we know that it's the Spirit speaking to him. Everybody happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Even the saints from, from a, a, a level land. At that time, the church was in level land, not level. Mm-hmm. They were like, hey, amen. Hallelujah. And I'm saying, oh, I'm going to spoil everything. <laughs> I'm going to spoil everything. Yes. And as soon as I got up, the Spirit spoke to me. It showed me, hey, amen. Again, he said, they are prejudiced, but they don't know it. So then I stood before the congregation. After the preacher said, all oh, introduced me, said, all oh, that, and that's what he always did. Thank y'all, way of Apostle Washington, a man of God. We know God speak to him. Hallelujah. Everybody. <coughs> I'm saying to myself, oh, my Lord. <sighs> Be with me. And I stood up before the congregation, and everybody, those that know me, they saw those wrinkles. Mm-hmm. They knew something was coming. Yeah. They didn't know what it was. <laughs> But they knew something was coming. Yes. And I looked at the congregation. And I said to you, to them all, I said, the Lord has spoken to me. Yes, yes, see, 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 see. <laughs> the Lord has showed me, spoke to me, showed me that you all are prejudiced, but you don't know it. Okay, we got a Spanish bishop in the pulpit. Everybody, the whole face changed. The counter changed. What? The bishop behind me, one of the pastors behind me. He said, not so, brother. I said, yes. The Lord has spoken to me and said that you all prejudiced, but you don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know it. Yes. I'm here to reveal it. A couple of uh, Spanish preachers. Oh, no. He was, uh, said, no, Apostle Washington. We love our brothers, our black brothers. <laughs> I said, well, these are the words of the Lord. If you're not prejudiced, if you're not, would you suffer your Spanish daughters to marry our black brethren if they wanted to? Preacher said, "Damn, everybody got quiet. Everybody got quiet. There wasn't no more Apostle, Apostle Crystal. Gloria Dios. Gloria Dios. There wasn't no more of that. Uh-uh. Everybody got quiet. Them young sisters, they, they, some young Spanish sisters." Amen. <laughs> Some young black brother preach it. <laughs> they was excited. Yeah. They was excited. Mm-hmm. I said, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you have to. The Lord told me, he said, would you suffer it? Yeah. Would you allow it or would you talk to them out of yeah. it? If they choose. From that day forward, we wasn't welcome back anymore. Uh-uh. I said, from that day forth, we was not welcome back there anymore. I said before, you don't come to teach the church nothing, not God church. Right. You come to be taught. Taught of his ways. Of his ways. And the Bible says, <laughs> and we were walking his path. And I told him, you cannot be saved unless you repent. Amen. Unless you get that out of you, you cannot be saved. Right. That fort, that day fort, we wasn't welcome back anymore. Is that right about that, uh, evangelist? Take a Tito. Well, you were there. We was not welcome back. They didn't care that, that Michelle know how to sing in Spanish. They loved the, her singing in Spanish till that message. After that, we wasn't welcome back. They didn't accept us no more. All because of that. 
Right. See, this place here is a place where we come and where the Bible says just men are made perfect. If you got a just spirit and you truly want to do the will of God, well, this is a place that you will be made perfect. Yes. That's right. hmm? Amen. This thing would take everything that is not like God out of us. That's right. And put what God wants in us. Hallelujah. Come on, let's read it. Have you not known? Have you not known? Have you not heard? This is what God saying to the, his people. Yeah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told it not to, been you from told the beginning? to you from the beginning? Have you not understood have from the foundations understood of the earth? The what? From the foundations from of the, the earth. From the foundation of the earth. It is he that sitteth that upon God the circle the of the earth. God sits on what? Upon the circle of the earth. Ain't no one bigger than him. Nobody. Huh? He don't need you, but you need him. Oh, yeah. Understand where you are. Understand who rules in this house. Yes. It's not man. Oh, no. It's him that knows us, that knows you. So when he gives his message to his servant, we're going to speak the word. It's going to find you. It's going to show you, wait a minute, well, how messed up you really are. It's going to show you how frail you really are. I didn't realize how frail I was until I came here. Oh, yeah. And after I came here and hearing words I never heard before, then I realized how unclean I was. Amen. I wasn't nowhere close being being what God wanted me to be, although I went to church. Uh -uh. Y'all getting this tonight? Yeah. Watch the word read it. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of yeah. the earth. Read it. And the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers. Yes. That stretches out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Read it. That bringeth the princes to nothing. What, 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 what? That bringeth the princes to nothing. <laughs> How many of us thought we was a, a prince when we came here? Or a princess? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you thought, yeah, you, thought you was God gifted. Yeah. <laughs> the gifted prince. You couldn't tell me I didn't let alone. Right. You shouldn't dare to say that. One thing about this church. And, 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 you know, and it has to be like this because the words of Yeshua said all that have come to him, yeah. all of them, yep. were nothing but thieves, thieves and, robbers. and robbers. That includes you and includes me. Thieves and robbers, that's it. We didn't get it right till we came to him. Right. Yes, Lord. We didn't become clean till we came to him. Right. And his word cleans us, clean us up. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. Y'all hear the Bible talking? Yes. Someone say, you know, I got a mind to serve the Lord well because of the because of the word. <laughs> the word of God that you're hearing. Yes. Hmm? yes. Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me tonight? Yes, Lord. Let the word of God work. Yes. yes. Let the word of God have free course. Free course. Let it shape and mold you what to what he wants you to be. Right. You know, you grew up in that fairy tale world. You know, y'all, we thought you was Snow White. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the little mermaid and kind of stuff, you know. Uh, use all, all the neck, all neck, but hey, man, you just yeah. know you the princess. Oh, yeah. Princess? When you came here. I mean, when I first came, I said, well, I, when I first heard the word, I got mad. Oh, yeah. I'm not, when, I first, when I first came, yes. I ain't never went to church where I went away mad. Man. <laughs> I was invited here. I can't go. Someone invited me to come. My first time I came. Yeah. And I came walking in. Oh, yeah. Had all my long hair. I'm going to sit on the front row. Front row. I need all the, the women to see me. You know, like I do in the, my other church I come in. You're not going to win. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> that, that hurricane. Oh, yeah. Just flow. That's right. Hey. <laughs> just flowing in the church. 
I didn't hear nothing that made me say thank you, Jesus. Uh-uh. I didn't hear nothing that made me want to do my hair like that. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. I was mad at the person who invited me to the church because I, I thought he went and told the preacher everything about me. Oh, yeah. That's how mad I was. Uh huh. And I let him have it too when he got in the car. That, 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 I let him have it. You went and told that man, who is he to tell me what I can and can't do? Set me up. Set me up. <laughs> I cussed him out on the way home, too. I didn't care he was my uncle. I said, I'll never go back to that church again. That's what I said. Never, ever. From that day, God put his hand on me. And everything began to happen to me. Within four months, I was seeking God. Then my other uncle come and say, who want to go to church with me? I said, I'll go. Not knowing I was going to come back to the same, same church. One. Had no idea. <laughs> but see, y'all always showing mercy when I was ignorant. Yeah. Paul said, we ourselves were sometimes foolish. foolish. Yeah. Deceived. And, being deceived. and I was deceived. As soon as we pulled up and I saw the church, I got mad. <laughs> I said, this that church with that preacher, he's mean. He talk about people. <laughs> yep. Didn't see God mercy in it. Not at all. Uncle said, come on in. I said, I ain't going in there. <laughs> I'm sitting out in the parking lot. I ain't going in there. Uh-uh. That man, I don't know. He's up at con condemning everybody's religion. <laughs> he, don't, he don't know me. Yeah. I'm a man about my Uncle own. said, well, you can sit how you want to. Because I went to church with him. So uh, it was too far to walk. Because yeah. the church is in Dallas, and I live in Grand Prairie. That's a South Dallas too. And I'm scared of South Dallas. <laughs> so let me go and go inside the church. <laughs> South Dallas was so bad. Yeah, the people there, yeah, you could be in your, they'll come right in your living room while you're sitting there with a gun and make you sit there. Wow. Tell you to sit there. And they'll take whatever they want. Unplug your TV, take that, and you're sitting there. One with the gun, you're sitting there. Making sure you don't move. They don't run out, me. They take their time out there and put them in the car and they leave. That's South Dallas. Yes. Mm -hmm. You said that too. <laughs> but you know what? Yahweh could have destroyed me, but he didn't do it. He saw something in me that I didn't even know was there. I sat there, and this time I listened to what that man was saying and opened my Bible up, and I was reading right along with him, and I realized what he was saying was the truth. Amen. It's just that I ain't never heard it before. Right. That's the day Apostle Washington made up his mind to turn from the world and serve the Most High. Yes. The devil been after me ever since. He want to sift me like wheat. Oh, yeah. Just like he want to sift you like wheat. Truth is life. You're here tonight because Yahweh have prayed for you. Yeshua have, I said Yahweh, I said Yeshua have prayed for you. Yep. Made a way of an escape. And he have made a way of an escape for you. Yeah. You can endure whatever you're going through. Oh, yeah. You're going to come out That's if you strive lawfully. Amen. Come on, I got 15 minutes. That bringeth the princess to nothing. What, what, what? That bringeth the princess is, is to nothing. Is that not what happened to us, prince? Yes. Hey, prince. I ain't talking about that single prince. <laughs> hey, princess. Did he, did he bring it to nothing? To nothing. Why are you sitting here? He brought you to nothing. Why are you giving up all rights to yourself? Made us nothing. How many times you say you ain't going to do it? Why are you still here? <laughs> many times. Why do you keep on striving trying to do it? Many times. He brings us to nothing. Amen. How many, how many can bear witness? You at home, you ain't thinking right, thinking all crazy, all, all, all over the place. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You know, oh, I got to go to church. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. I got to go to church. You just know it. <laughs> you just know it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes. 
Well, as John said, if our heart condemn us, God, God is, is greater than you. Greater than us. Which you may not display here in the sanctuary. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You only do it at the house or in the car. Yeah. Like coming to church or leaving church. Yes. Hallelujah. But you get here. Yeah. The Bible's right. <laughs> All of us are naked before him. Yeah. Every creature is naked before him. Oh, yeah. Him. All made manifest. How often you got to sit there and say, no, ain't no one told it, but that's the Lord. He knows me. Oh, yeah. Lord, help my unbelief. Oh, yeah. Lord, increase my. I know that's you. Yeah. I'm not going to be angry and bitter at my brother. I know my wife know about all this, but it was you. Yeah. My wife ain't said nothing to you. Uh -uh. My husband ain't said nothing to you. To the man of God, that's you. Yeah. Speaking through the man of God to me. That's how I know that you're here. Now, help my unbelief. Yeah. Increase my faith. Amen. Is that right? That's right. Renew a right spirit in me that I won't sin against you. Hallelujah. 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 Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Yes, Lord. Other than that, Prince, you coming to now. Yes. He bring princes to what? To nothing. Prince to nothing. He maketh the judges and of the earth the as vanity. You think you know something? Yes. You think you know something? I bet it came with this. this, this. We came to church with our own doctrine. Oh, yeah. Or the doctrine we learned from somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Thought it was good. Hallelujah. Thought I had something. Hmm? Yes. And the Spirit just shoot it down. Yes. You say, oh, I'm so glad I didn't speak that out. <laughs> I would have been so embarrassed. But if you... Uh, thought had something in your mind, you thought it was right, you knew you understood, and you come to church, and the Spirit dealt with it and opened it up for you. And you say, oh, my good, I'm glad I didn't share that with nobody. I didn't see that like that. Oh, my Lord. Then you get fear, right? Oh, yeah. And that fear caused you to not do that no more. Right. But when that thought do come, you say, I, nah, I ain't no better. Uh, and you that been around Pastor watching for a long time, you've seen it too many times, huh? Too many times. Hmm? Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Come on, Israel. He maketh the judges of he the earth the as vanity. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yay. Yay. They shall not be they planted. They shall not be planted. Yay. Whatever you think you have, it will not be planted. Amen. Hmm? Hallelujah. That's right. There ain't no need to listen to other preachers. It will not be planted. Shall not be planted. Yeah. Yea, yes. they shall not be sown. They shall not be sown. Yea, yes. their stock shall their not stock take root shall not in the earth. Take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon he them. Shall blow upon them. And they shall wither. Every time we go against the spirit, God blow on us. And they shall wither. He win, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> you repent and the church is still right. Yes. Y'all listen? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to learn to fight the devil. That's right. Amen. We don't want to cause the word. We don't want to find ourselves blaspheming and Amen. contradicting the scripture, right? That's right. But the man of God said, I give unto you good doctrine. Good doctrine. Don't, don't make it bad. Don't blaspheme. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If this the church, then the doctrine here is good. Yes. According to the word. Yes. I give unto you good doctrine. If you follow my doctrine, amen, hallelujah, amen. you won't, amen, you won't live in sin no longer. That's you right. Oh, yeah. Come on, my message, the doctrine, deliver man from sin. That's right. That's right. Come on, let's finish, let's finish it. And he shall also blow upon them. Yes. And they shall wither. And they shall wither. And the whirlwind and shall the take world them away wind as shall stubble. Take them away as stubbles. To whom then yeah. will you liken me? You know that I'm in control of the church. Yes. yes Lord. Now, who are you going to liken me to? Or shall I be equal? Mm -hmm. Saith the Holy One. And the Holy One said that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lift up your eyes Man, on lift high. Lift up your eyes on high. And behold who hath created lift these things. The one that did all this. That bringeth out their host that by number. Out their host by number. He calleth them all Even by name. He brought out. Hallelujah. He brought you here. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't get lucky and find this place. He brought you here. He did. Amen. He brought you to some people, to some strange people on top of that. Strange people. Hallelujah. Definitely. Ain't nobody like us. 
<laughs> no one like the church. That's right. He brought you to be to be made partakers of it. Yes. I think I saw a, old, saw a video of a, a photo of Buttercup, and she was her not, and her sister uh, Nene, little old bitty thing, first yeah. come to church. Uh huh. Both them little old bitty thing. <clears throat> There's a wow! Look how small them little Buttercup and and young Buttercup and and Destiny in that picture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Always let her fix that. Destiny come to church with all them fake long eyelashes. Oh, yeah. Big old fans. Big old, big old fans on the eyes. She thought she was a princess. <laughs> hmm? Yes. Yeah, now Buttercup got on. She was a little girl. Now she got her own family. <laughs> Picture of Quentin and uh, his sister. Yes. A yes. little old bit of thing. Still look like he, he still look like that picture. He just, he just bigger. <laughs> and, and he just picked the same expression. Yeah. Ain't nothing changed from that boy. <laughs> All of you now, Quinn. And he, he said, 22. And he's happy when he said that. Yeah. <laughs> same look. Yes. Yeah. Sister, too, same look. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Time and chance happen to us all. That's right. Time is caught up with us now. Yes. Come on. He calleth them all by name. Yes. By the greatness of his power, his might. Of his might. For that he is strong he in is power. He is strong, but you got to believe that he is. Not one failing. None of all the things he promised you would not fail. Amen. Come on. Why sayest thou, O now, Jacob? since you know that his promises are true, why you talk so crazy? And speakest, O Israel. How is it that you say that you believe that this God is able to do all this? But you talk in some other way. Right. How many of you believe that the Lord can change your spouse? How many of you believe that Yahweh can, can, there's nothing too hard for God? Amen. <coughs> I see the hand. But how do you talk after you get through raising your hand? Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. How can anything be changed if you don't believe? Right. right. Well, saw that movie last night? Yes. Yes. The woman had to issue blood. Uh, 12 she years. Tested her, uh, for 12 years. Yes. She battled with that. Yeah, spent all her Hallelujah. money on doctors. Hallelujah. And she touched the hem of his garment, and he was she was healed. Yes. She would say, it wasn't me. It was your faith. Yeah, it wasn't the hem of my garment. It wasn't it was the garment. It was your faith. It wasn't the garment. Uh-uh. It was your faith that healed you. Yes. So how can you always fix anything in your life if you don't believe it? Right. It's not he can't happen. fix it. Did it takes work? faith for him to work. Right. Yeah. It takes faith for it to work. Yes. Saying that he's able, but don't believe that he's able. Yes. It's two different things. I believe that Yahweh can fix anybody. Amen. Don't God low you up falling. Yes, yes, yes. I believe he can, he can help you. I believe that. I, I, I look past your weakness. I never look at someone and say, he'll never change. Right. Because I'm because the, the, the one that has the power is the one I'm putting my, my trust in. Yes. yes. But you've got to believe. Yeah. You got to start saying to yourself, I can do this here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be what God told me to be. Mm -hmm. You got to talk right. Amen. So God says, if, if you know that I'm able to do all of this, how says thou, O Jacob? And speak as O and Israel. O Israel. My way Remember, is Remember, Jacob and Israel now the represent the church now. Yes. Not, not that fleshly Jacob, not that fleshly Israel. But that, 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 that Jacob and Israel that is born of the Spirit. Yes. I'm talking to that Israel. Amen. That Jacob. Amen. I ain't talking about Israel over in the, in the land of Israel. But I'm talking about this, that spiritual Israel. Right. But you should tell the woman at the well. The time is coming now. He now is. When no man will worship the Father in this mountain or Jerusalem. Right. But God is a Spirit. Right. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him. 
in spirit. spirit. It had nothing to do with, amen, get your, hallelujah, hallelujah. the natural Jerusalem or the natural Israelites. Uh, nothing. That which is born of the, of the spirit is yes. spirit, and that which is born of the flesh is it's flesh. flesh. So now we're talking about you that sit here tonight. The spiritual Israel. The spiritual Jacob. Yes. Not by blood, but by promise. Yes. By the spirit. That's oh, he's right. talking to us now. Not that church over there. He don't dwell in that church over there. No, he talking about this one here. This one. The one that you find the apostles, prophets, yeah. pastors, and teachers. Yeah. When you find the prophetess. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about that church. Yes, Lord. Yes. That God has bless each of us to be part of. Now you got to start talking right. Yes, Lord. So I said, you believe that I'm able to do all this? <laughs> then you will do your part to show that you believe. Yes. You won't do wrong and expect me to fix everything for you because I, I ain't going to do it for you when you ain't right. That's right. I won't do nothing for you. Is that what James the Apostle told us? The church, yeah. hmm? that wave yeah. of mind of man, he shall, he shall receive no. nothing. Nothing of the Lord. A wave of mind of person will not receive nothing. nothing. Of the Lord. He's not going to fix it for you. He's going to stay with him all his ways. Because some you got to do in order for him to fix. It. Yes. Y'all hear me talking tonight? Yes, Come on, Lord. I got five minutes. I Why says thou, O Jacob? Why do you talk like And speak as O Israel. Yes. My way is hid yes. from Yahweh. God can't fix this for me. Amen. I know he, I know he made the mountains. He made the stretch forth the heavens by himself. I know all, but he, this, this here, he can't, he can't. I'm sorry, I just, he can't fix this. Uh-huh. But we saying that he can. Uh-huh. Come to church. He got the whole world. In his hand, he got the whole, just that's an old play. Then you forget all about he got the whole world. That's right. There ain't nothing too hard for God. There ain't nothing too hard for God. <laughs> That's he it made is. the world out of nothing. Got us dancing right along with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Soon you leave these doors. You don't mean none of that. You just sung about. Amen. Just show. Just noise. And why do you want God to fix everybody except you? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Huh? Why do you want Yahweh to fix everyone except you? <laughs> Y'all getting this here? Yes, Lord. My way is hid from Yahweh. Look at he talking. And my judgment is passed he over for my God. He can't. He don't understand. This he cannot fix. Amen. It's passed uh -huh. over his head. Yes. Uh-huh. Has thou not known? God Isaiah said, have you not known? Has thou not heard? One thing about the man of God, he's going to always bring it back to your attention. Yes. Have you not known? Has thou not heard? Have you not heard? That the everlasting he's God is Yahweh. He's not a sometime God. He's an everlasting God. Yes. It said everlasting. Everlasting God. As long as there is man breathing on this earth, he's Amen. everlasting. Amen. Because it's not his will that any man should perish, but that every man oh, cometh to repent. He will remain God in order to bring you salvation. Yes. That the everlasting God, Yahweh, Yahweh, the creator of the, the ends creator of the earth, of the ends of the earth fainteth not. He don't faint. Neither is he weary. He don't faint. And he's not weary. Amen. He do care about you. Yes. But don't expect anything from him unless you're walking upright. Remember the words of the apostles. The eyes of the Lord is over the righteous. Yes. His ears are open, open to their, their prayers. prayers. 
But the face of Yahweh is against them, is that, against do them that do evil. Yeah. We know that here is not sinners. Every time we hear that verse, he that does evil, evil we think about people in false churches. No. The letter is written to the church. That's yes. Right. Not the false church, it's written to the church. Right. If you do righteous, yes. then he'll bless your going out and coming in. Yes. Right. If you don't do righteous, that means you're doing evil. Yeah. Then he's against you. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want Lord. him to be against I'd rather uh, for man to be against me, not him. That's right. I need him on my side. To have him on on my side, I must walk upright. I must obey and do what he's instructed me to do. Every one of us have received instruction from the Holy Spirit. Yes. How to present your bodies to God as a living sacrifice. God don't need you while you're dead. He wants you alive. Alive. He wants to use you while you're alive. The dead don't praise God. Can't praise God. Can't get God glory in nothing. Right. Yes, Lord. Yahweh receive glory when we fight the devil. Yes, show, show Satan there. Look, I'm, I, I don't belong to you no more. That's right. Right. Yeah. My, my body's not yours. No, this temple's not for you. Hallelujah. That's why I go to church to be taught. Yes. yes. I know why I go to church. I go to church Jesus. to heal what God ha- want, want of me. And yes. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to allow you to stop me from doing it. Yes. Yes, Amen. I'm, I'm not a hearer of the word only. Again. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Come on, brothers, and we out of here. There is no searching of his understanding. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power he to give the faint. He power, what, what, what? To the faint. Y'all get the Bible talking here? Amen. If you, yeah, amen. If you feel like you was fainting and you want to do better, you're going to work with power tonight. Because that's what he does. Give Anyone power to the today faith. and tonight in their right mind, you're in your right mind because he gave you power. Amen. Because you came to church and you humble yourself. Yes, yes. You open up your heart to receive his words yes. and whatever that he wanted you to do. But your heart, but remember, Yeshua speaks with us. He speaks to our hearts. Yes, yes, our hearts, let us know. Let us know. Yes. I need to, I need to, I got, Lord, help me. I got to, I got to get this right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Your heart knows. Heart speaks. He gives his strength. To the faint. To the faint. And to them that have no and to might, them that don't have he no increases might. strength. Hallelujah. Them that don't have no might. No might. He increases strength. Them that don't have no might. No might. Amen. David said his foot almost slipped. Now will slip. I mean, he almost turned his heart completely away from God. When he said that, his heart almost turned itself completely away from God. <laughs> Satan almost had him. Had him do some things he shouldn't have did. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, but hey, man, God delivered him because yeah. he sought the Lord. Yeah. He said, David said, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. He wasn't talking about some other poor man. He was talking about himself. Amen. Amen. And God, is it wonderful to know that he heard you? Yes. Where would I be if you didn't hear me? In my lowest hour. I called on him. He saw that I was sincere. And you know what he did? He turned and looked. He said, now I'm hearing you. Now I, 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 you're sincere. Remember when you're sure when that woman touched him, what did he do? Oh, yeah, virtues. A whole lot of people touched him, right? Master, master, master. Yeah. But when she touched me, oh, yeah. Stop. Who touched me? Yes. You can have the same brother going through the same thing. Hallelujah. But one get himself right, Lord, turn and listen to him. Now. Oh, that, that's sincere there. Yeah. He's still playing over there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. He said, Lord said, virtue came out of came me. Amen. Yes. Came out. And Peter was getting mad. Well, what you mean? Who touched you? Everybody touched you. What kind of question is that? Everybody touched you. See how it is when you don't understand the spirit? Right. That, lady, that woman went away healed. Who's going away healed tonight? Who's going away healed tonight? <laughs> Come on, let's read it. Finish it. Even the youth, even the youth, shall faint and be weary, uh-huh. and the young even men the shall youth. utterly fall. I'm looking at some youth in here. Yes. See, I'm not looking at this as a tourist. She ain't no youth. Mm-hmm. 
Mother Connie. I'm not looking on Mother Connie. She know you. No. But Buttercup. Yeah. Destiny. Yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. Jello. These old chunk old. Justine O. Francesca for you. You shall do what? Shall faint and be weary. And be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh. A young man said, let me get myself up. Start listening to what these elders telling me to do. Yeah. That young sister, let me listen to that old sister in church who know how to love their husband. Amen. Hmm? Read yeah. that again now. Amen. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Read, read, read. But they but that they wait, that upon, wait Yahweh upon Yahweh shall renew shall their strength. What? Renew their strength. That means you're going to stay and wait till Yahweh bring you out. Yeah. You're going to stop putting your hand trying to fix stuff. You yeah. let Yahweh deliver you. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their shall strength. Shall renew their strength. And they shall mount up with I know wings about as that eagles. Now. When I was in church, it wasn't right. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Felt worthless. Yes, yes. Yeah. Wasn't sincere like I should have been. Felt worthless. Amen. Amen. Stopped looking for praises of man. Yeah. I know my testimony. Yeah. You know, we all look for someone and say, brother, I see a change in you, and you don't get it. Right. Yeah. You think you deserve it by now. Yeah. You know, you've been, been four days. Yeah. Four I days. Mean, you started last week. Oh, yeah. And nobody still ain't mentioned your name yet. Nobody. But my testimony was concerned. I said, you know, you know, that all because of chief deacon. Mm-hmm. Well, what is your chief deacon? Right. What is that thing that just, just trouble you? Yeah. I was so used to people saying, Deacon Washington, Deacon Washington, Deacon Washington. Mm-hmm. They didn't even say Washington. Uh-uh. I couldn't get a, I couldn't even get a brother Washington. <laughs> I'm up there trying to get all this good. I get everybody in the <laughs> They just said and looking. <laughs> but when Chief Deacon get up there, everybody started shouting. Uh-huh. And he's wrong with two left shoes. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't making that up. Truly too wrong with two left shoes. <laughs> yes. Every time I little preach, that deacon burst and mm. heart just broke like I'm left out. Like I'm not even being seen anymore. But I got my sins that saints don't even know about. Yeah. There's some people, I say, some men's sins are open beforehand. Everybody know you're wrong. Uh-huh. But the Bible says other man's sin is just, yeah. it's hid. It's hid. Yeah. Yes. God, you know, Yahweh can step in. Keep it here, hit all you want for God to step in and just take everything Make away. Man, yeah. Take it away. That's what happened to me. Yeah. I said, well, now I will come and hear that word. Finally, I made up my mind. Do what this told me to do. Wait on the Lord. Quit trying to be seen with people. Yes. Yeah. Please me. Yes. Hmm? Amen. And you know what? He lifted me up in due time. Amen. Hallelujah. Humble yourself, the Bible says, under the mighty hands, hands of God, and He will exalt, exalt you, time. not your time, due time, in due time. Yes. Look what the Lord does. He made me a pastor now. Yes. All because I did what was right to do. Amen. Now he come and talk to me. Give me understanding of the scriptures. Yes. Hmm? 
They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up, with, shall wings mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. And not be and weary. And they won't be weary no more. And they shall walk. They shall walk. And not and faint. And they won't find a faint no more. Amen. No Hallelujah. Because why? Hallelujah. They learn to wait on the Lord. Yes. So we thank Yahweh for the words that are given to us tonight. Let's take what the Spirit has said as prior to our life. And let's all receive the pastor by saying praise Yahweh. Uh, Jonathan by saying praise Yahweh. Praise your